Welcome to Margarines for the tomato plant food experiment. So I've got nine similar sized tomato plants. And I'll sit just there. And then we have the plant foods, rainwater, coffee grounds, they're just coffee grounds, put in water until the water can't take any more uh, of the coffee. The fish poo from off the uh, pond filters, that's the wormery plant food. That's where I have to fill it to, to get one, one to seven similar to 1 to 10 so that will make it easy for me to use the put the con concentrate into those bottles and top up with rainwater so we've got compost bin runoff that's uh, the lined compost bin banana plant food at 1 to 10 comfrey plant food at 1 to 10 nettle and then the banana plant food at 1 to 25 So I'll just, I've planted some of the others, the, 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 I've got 14 tomatoes in this greenhouse and I'll just show you uh, how I plant these in those double layered yoghurt pots. Just have to be, I'm just taking the first leaves and a couple of the others off. These are the ones that you need to pinch out as they grow. There's another one growing there but I'll wait till the plant's established and they're a little bit bigger. That one's already been done, so I can just sink it in the ground a little bit further. These are Gardener's Delight. And these are, I've got nine the same sort of height, so. I thought they were the best ones to try, and they are the smaller tomatoes. These were growing in the cardboard rolls. It seems to have worked really well. So if you remember, one pot inside another. Place that in there. We open it up. No root disturbance. Then we can bury it as high up that stalk as you want to. But these have already been buried once. And I'll train those up. I'll get the rest of these planted and I'll bring you back. Well, that's those planted. And we've got a uh, Marmandi. Tigrella, uh, San Marinzo, and two Alicantes in the greenhouse. We'll see how they go. I'll get some plant markers put up for the uh, nine that are going to have the plant food. And the mix of compost, 50% spent compost, 50% clover and in each bucket add a handful of calcified seaweed and blood fish and bone Now that should keep them going now till the first week of June when I shall start feeding the plants then the plant foods so there will be one tomato plant that gets no food at all other than what they had to start off with with the rainwater and then we'll see how each plant does with the other feeds. Obviously nettle tea, it'll make it grow, will it make it fruit? But we'll be feeding them throughout the season until they start uh, fading away and we'll weigh and see how many tomatoes get, we get off each plant. Thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down, 
I don't mind. Subscribe and definitely comment. Especially if you put a thumbs down. Please comment. Happy growing everyone and take care till next time.